Okay, Berwick, we had our select board meet last night and here is the recap. Um, there were no public comments. The first thing on the agenda was a public hearing for medical marijuana renewals. I believe I counted appropriately that there were eight renewals for uh, medical marijuana licenses. That's at 398 School Street, which is like a big um, multiple buildings. And so a lot of one landlord, but a lot of different growers in there. Um, there's no active violations in there at the moment. There are intermittent complaints of odor. I think we all know that when you drive down School Street, you smell it. Um, there are carbon filters that are in place. The town manager did ask each applicant for their their odor mitigation system. Um, uh, the tenants insist that there are no odor problems. <laughs> and there was one public member um, that complained that the filters don't work. So I know, I mean, that, that place has been a, a little bit of an issue ever since they opened and it's, I think it's just because they have so many people in there and there's doors opening and closing and whatever, but you always smell marijuana when you go by there. Um, the next thing was that Sherry Clement um, came up for the rec commission again. She owns a business in Berwick. She lives in North Berwick and they were at the last meeting, they were wondering if there were any rules against her serving on the commission. She's, she owns Primal Fitness in, or Primal Fit, I forget the name, um, in Berwick downtown. She's wonderful. She's a, she's an asset to our community. Um, there were no rules against her joining the commission. So she has been appointed town manager the rec field and Dobson Road. You know, we had those hellacious speed bumps on Dobson Road last year that I'm sure the everybody that lived there loved um, because it slowed you down to zero miles an hour. Um, so basically the town manager is thinking about starting a neighborhood improvement program where basically the town and the neighborhood could split the costs of installing speed tables. I think they really decided that tables are the way to go. He received a petition for these speed bumps. Um, so that's how that process is. Uh, I don't know if this is a precedent being set here, but it seems like if you get enough people in your neighborhood to petition the town manager, you may be able to get some speed bumps. Uh, the select board decided that they should probably have a public hearing about it, get some input from the public works, because how are these things gonna survive being plowed over all winter. Um, so that was kind of that. Uh, the backstage area was cleaned up. Andy Buckman headed it up. Buckman's my maiden name, but there's no relation, but good job, Andy. Apparently it looks really good. There's a Route 4 safety study meeting. It's a Zoom call April 19th at 2 p.m. Main Water, who is now doing our Berwick Water, has found some um, clogged filters, their uh, filters clogged with manganese that could be causing some problems that were not identified earlier. So they're gonna be doing some high level maintenance to that. Next is the tax assessor. This is the one we should all be paying attention to. Um, so, so basically there are certain exemptions that allow you to, to pay a little bit less in taxes. You have your homestead exemption, you've got your veterans, the blind, tree growth. And so that's all um, a percentage off the assessment that they that they figure out so they set the they set that um, so for instance last year if you claimed homestead exemption that was twenty two thousand five hundred dollars and that's off your assessed value the year before that it was twenty five thousand dollars off your assessed value next year it's only twenty one thousand dollars off your assessed value so our exemptions are going down 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 go figure um, we were we last had a valuation in 2019, and although valuations occur about every 10 years, it also occurs or is triggered when the assessment to sales ratio falls below 70%. So I'm confused because at the beginning of this, at the beginning of when the assessor was up, he said that our assessment to sales ratio was 78%. But then at the end of the meeting, he said it was 68%. So I'm not sure which is true, but they want to do a reassessment. So they're coming out and they're going to start in the fall and it'll be done by next spring. House prices are going up. Values are going up. Um, commercial property isn't increasing as much as residential. So although the valuations, the value of your house, according to the town, will go up, 
according to the assessor, the tax rate, the mill rate, the rate at which we're charged will go down and the overall taxes may not change at all, but they really want everybody's um, assessed value to be at 100%. They want it to be accurate. They're not all accurate. I mean, I know that I look at tax cards all day. They're definitely not accurate. Um, so they're actually not going to go to everybody's house. They're going to go to the new sales and check those out, but they're not going to be knocking on your doors. You're not going to see them. It's more of just a computer program thing. So keep an eye out on that. Um, reassessed after four years. Uh, they did discuss if they should put this out to a competitive bid because we've had the same company doing it forever and um, the select board decided that we do not need to do that. The next thing on the agenda, TC Hafford is going to come in and waterproof the boiler room in the town hall. It is budgeted in the 2022-23 budget and is already in the capital account. For uh, people have their bids in for the select board. There's two seats available for people that are um, throwing their hat into the ring and then one for the school board. The the um, select board went into executive session after that and I'm actually going to ask the, the town manager about this because they basically just said, okay, and now we're going into an executive session and there's a whole process for starting an executive session and I I didn't see that done, um, so I was just wondering if that is a process that we have to follow or is just best practice. Anyway, that's your select board meeting. I watch the meetings so you don't have to.